Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The emergence of Kirin 9000S can be said to have stirred up waves with one stone. The United States has imposed heavy blockades on Huawei chips, preventing ASML from providing EUV lithography machines to mainland China and preventing TSMC from manufacturing chips for Huawei. As long as manufacturers use American technology, they cannot supply Huawei at will. But even under such circumstances, Huawei still tore down technical barriers. The birth of Kirin 9000S also made the United States feel incredible. Because it did not know more information about the chip, the United States began to slander it again. The White House, Huawei's chip technology is stolen and China cannot have this technology. Kirin chips are back again. The Kirin chip is a mobile device chip independently developed by Huawei. It has always used the ARM architecture and completed automated design through American EDA tools. After the chip was designed, it was produced by TSMC. It realizes the excellent performance of mobile phones such as high performance, low power consumption, and high speed. With Huawei's Kirin chips, its smartphone business has grown rapidly. Huawei has also transferred Kirin to tablet devices, popularizing the mid to low end mobile phone market and occupying a place in the high end market. Kirin chips represent the rise of Chinese chips, which are all seen by the United States. As Kirin chips become stronger and stronger, the United States cannot sit still. The strict blockade of Chinese chips prevented Kirin chips from being put into production for a time. What the United States did not expect was that the Kirin chip returned again. A brand new Kirin 9000S chip was installed on the Mate 60 Pro model for sale. It is inevitable that this chip will cause a sensation. Whether it is the performance of the chip itself or its rebirth in breaking through the blockade, it has caused widespread discussion on the Internet. But the situation in the United States is different. The White House has said that it will investigate the chip information to see if it violates U.S. regulations and bans. It has been some time since the Mate 60 Pro mobile phone went on sale. Countries around the world have participated in the analysis, but there is no accurate answer to this day. The only thing that is certain is that this chip is produced in mainland China. In other words, Huawei has indeed managed to get rid of American technology. Rely The United States did not believe it and started to use its slanderous tactics again. The White House spokesperson said, Huawei's chip technology is stolen and China cannot have this technology. The United States views the Kirin 9000S with suspicion and does not believe that Huawei can still produce chips under the strict blockade of American chip technology unless it uses American technology. Kirin 9000S unlocks a 12-core CPU. Some high-level officials in the United States have called for an end to all technology exports to Huawei and the adoption of more stringent restrictive measures. There are even calls for criminal charges against Huawei executives. As for whether American technology is used, you can get a clue by looking at a technical upgrade of Kirin 9000S. 
Huawei Mate 60 Pro mobile phone officially pushed the system update version 4.0.0.116. After completing the update, many users found that the CPU core changed from 8 cores to 12 cores. Previously, bloggers revealed that Kirin 9000S uses a hyperthreading design. Now it seems that saving the country through hyperthreading curve has become Huawei's breakthrough. More importantly, the CPU core has been upgraded to 12 cores, which is unprecedented in the mobile phone industry. What is the concept? First of all, you need to understand what hyperthreading is. Hyperthreading can simulate a physical processor into two logical processors, so that two threads can be processed at the same time. Specifically, hyperthreading technology can replicate certain hardware resources in the processor, so that one physical processor can handle two threads at the same time. Hyperthreading technology can improve the efficiency and processing power of the processor without increasing the number of physical processors, thereby improving the overall performance of the computer. Therefore, the existence of hyperthreading is to improve processing power, but this is generally only applied on the PC side. Huawei uses hyperthreading on the mobile phone, which is still 12 cores. This is something that the United States has also failed to achieve. Since the United States cannot do it, but Huawei has done it, is this considered stealing? It is worth mentioning that currently only the performance of the CPU has been unlocked, and the GPU has not yet been unlocked. If the GPU is also unlocked, it may bring more surprises. A new journey for domestic chips. Kirin 9000S adopts the self-developed Taishan architecture at the design level. Since higher process support is temporarily unavailable at the manufacturing level, taking the hyperthreading route to improve the chip's parallel capabilities is also a solution. In theory, hyperthreading will increase power consumption to a certain extent. According to feedback from some users, after upgrading to version 4.0.0.116 and unlocking 12 cores, the heat generation is reduced and the fluency is improved, which is called metaphysics. After reading this, I believe everyone understands that the so-called Huawei chip technology is stolen by the United States is nothing more than self-deception by the United States. They do not want to believe that Huawei can really achieve technological breakthroughs and really get rid of its dependence on American technology. In fact, if you think about it, you can understand that since Huawei has made this chip public, it is already ready to accept external inspection. If Huawei does not have enough confidence, will Huawei put this chip under the nose of the United States and then give the United States an excuse to increase blockade restrictions? It's time for the United States to recognize the reality and the new journey of domestic chips will also begin with the birth of Kirin 9000S. Judging from the performance of Kirin 9000S, it is not inferior to the mainstream flagship chips on the market. Even with the adaptation of Hongmeng system and point-to-point -point optimization, it is entirely possible to rival the smoothness of Apple's iOS system in the future. With the domestic chip Kirin 9000S and the domestic operating system Hongmeng, Huawei has the ability to compete in the central planes by mastering these two trump cards. 
The United States will eventually understand that restrictions will not bring Huawei down, but will only make Huawei stronger.